Everything you see in this video is hand drawn, as is 95% of everything you see on this channel. Hello our siblings in Christ, I am Bojan and I am a reader of the Serbian Orthodox Church. And I am Miloš, I work in IT, so when it comes to discussing a topic like this, you know, you've got your older bases covered. And that topic is AI art and how it relates to us as Christians. We are only in the beginning stages of AI generated art, and we have absolutely no clue where it will end up. For now, we can reasonably expect its results to be underwhelming. In the initial phases, it will damage mostly artists who live off smaller commissions. You know, draw my profile picture, draw my dog, etc. So what does the emergence of AI art have to do with us as Christians? We find our salvation in the person of Jesus Christ. And only in Christ, to quote a beautiful name of a documentary, we are becoming truly human. However, AI art is not made by humans, but by something made by humans. It is derivative, without a soul or creative process behind, made by something that ultimately isn't made in the image of God. A good part of the damage was already done ages ago by machine carving tools. We can see blessing crucifixes that were made by machine, and you can tell it's made by machine, it's too perfect. Its perfection is false and annoying, it looks cheap, it's kitsch. However, in that case, at least the original mold was made by a human being. Of course, the same goes for printed icons, they're far from ideal, but they can fulfill their purpose until something better is obtained. The church, in its wisdom, permits the use of machine-generated things. Yes, it would be wonderful if we all had handcrafted and unique sacramentals and hand-painted icons with their lovely imperfections, but rarely any church, much less a missionary one, can afford that. As Christians, we believe that us, human beings, are gifted with a rational soul by God in whose image we are made. Creativity is one aspect of that image. Sadly, while we can create something that can create something else, we can never bestow the image of God upon our own creation. When we prompt AI for art, it is essentially generating an output that lacks that reflection of eternity that every artist has within themselves. AI. As smart as it is, it is simply that. A machine. A dead thing. It can impersonate. It can come to logical conclusions, but it's still an algorithm powered by data people and machines created in the past beneath a veneer of intelligence. I would make a comparison to a zombie, but even a zombie is more alive than a machine. Zombies were at least, at some point, living creatures. By the way, you can totally subscribe to our channel, it really helps us out. But the primary concern is, will artists be replaced with AI, not whether will AI be as good? Will people accept low quality art from a machine? And it is always low quality, regardless of how majestic it looks. It is simply tearing pieces of other people's work and building them into an artificial assembly. There is no skill in it. We agree with people who claim that this isn't art in the first place. It is just something a machine spewed out. For us, this output is fine for entertainment purposes. Man with broccoli for a head. But if one truly appreciates beauty, such a person will see it for what it is, regardless of how good it becomes. Christ calls us to be authentic, to be real human beings, to rejoice in the freedom he gives. Can we be truly authentic in things we prompt a machine to be created, when those things are just derivatives of other people's work? Worse still, can we be truly authentic if the thing we supposedly made isn't actually made by us at all. In the end, AI-generated art is false pearls for perfect swine. A candle-like bug zapper for people who, by their own volition, choose to be mods. We would like to thank all of our patrons and channel members for helping us with these videos. A couple of times during this video we mentioned sacramentals. Please watch our sacramentals video to see what different kinds of sacramentals the Orthodox use in their daily lives. Bye!